Hi, this is iPad Diaries Quick Tips Narrator, The Robot Girl. The iPad Diary English channel will share some quick tips for using iPad, both as a desktop and tablet. Today, I will show you how I use the shortcut to restart your iPad without having to go through the process of using the buttons to turn it off. Especially on iPad Pro, you have to hit two volume buttons quickly in succession, and then press the power button. This process isn't all that pleasant, if you have it on a stand. Also the cover can get in the way and you have to do it quickly, otherwise you often end up with Siri screen. Of course, I don't have to restart my iPad that often, but I often test the accessibilities after ROS updates on my iPad, to see if I can maximize my use of the mouse. The mouse, till this day, is so buggy, when you use complex functions, more often than not, it crashes my iPad. Maybe it's just me, but I don't see that many tutorials on the web that features the use of various accessibility features. From what I know there are plenty of things that are really helpful, like four corners, gestures and dwelling. At least, on the third-party browsers, both, Edge and Chrome, you can even go back and forward between web pages, with a single click of the mouse. Here I am using the Logitech M720 mouse to move back, and forward between web pages with A single click of the mouse. I am just pointing and clicking. I am not even dragging the mouse. Here I am using the same gesture, but positioning the mouse at the bottom and clicking to move between open apps. Again no dragging involved. Similar to using the trackpad. Sadly, the feature will eventually crash. Also it is inexplicable that the gesture doesn't work on Safari. Whether this is a bug or the incompatibility, Apple should make this feature free of lags and crashing. Anyways, to go back to our subject. I figured out a way to quickly restart the iPad without touching the buttons. Oh, before I go any further, please be sure to click the like and share button, if you found this video helpful, so that many more people can view this video. You will need to set up two features. One is the powerful shortcuts app. And the other is, ironically, the accessibility feature which is the main culprit that could cause you to often reboot the iPad. However, we will be using it briefly and turn it off. First, go to the link that I will post below, a Matthew Cassinelli web page. Scroll down, till you see. Toggle Assistive Touch. If you get a message about downloading from an untrusted website, go to Settings. Scroll down quite a bit to Shortcuts and tap it. On the right pane, turn on the Allow Untrusted Shortcuts and hit Yes. Let's go back to the web page. Now download the shortcut app again. Now allow the app to download. This shortcut will be useful in many other instances. If you have the shortcut app widget set up on the main screen already, you will see it on the widget. If you don't have the widget set up, just press and hold any blank space on the main screen. You will see the plus button on the upper left corner of the screen. Hit the plus button, select shortcuts from the list. Select the size of the widget. Then, you will see the shortcuts widget on the main screen. Now we need to customize the assistive touch button. Go to Settings Accessibility Touch Assistive Touch Please note that the shortcut app we created will turn on this feature automatically. So we don't even have to enable the accessibility right now. Underneath, you will see custom options. To set this up for the first time, just tap any of the three options, and scroll down to select Restart. Now we are all set to quickly restart my iPad without touching the buttons. Let's go back to the home screen. From the widget, tap the toggle assistive touch shortcut we created earlier. Now you see the assistive touch button appearing here. Long press the assistive touch button. I would do it with your finger rather than mouse for this, because the mouse might be buggy depending on your accessibility setup. You rarely have to reboot your iPad, but this is really a handy tool that it is worth setting up, especially when you are using accessibility functions. You can also toggle off the accessibility feature by clicking the same shortcut app, should you not decide to reboot. Oh, one more thing before you go, please also note that I also created another shortcut for me to go to straight to the accessibility page in settings app. With one click, I can instantly go to the accessibility page. If you would like to learn about setting up this shortcuts app in various other settings page, please subscribe for the next video.
That's it for today and have a wonderful day. And, peace.